Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Today, let's understand what is the intricate relationship between chemicals and biodiversity. Before we dive deeper, let's understand what each of these terms entails. <laughs> chemicals are substances composed of atoms, ion, and molecules that undergo chemical activities. They can be found naturally in the environment or produced through human activities. Understand what is the meaning of natural chemical and synthetic chemical. Natural chemicals are chemicals produced by plants for defense and communication. They are essential for life and have been interacting with the ecosystem for millions of years. While on the other hand, the synthetic chemical, for example, the pesticide, industrial pollutants, and pharmaceutical, which is man-made, can have serious impact on the environment. Now, let's turn our attention to biodiversity. Biodiversity is the variety of life forms on Earth. It includes plants, animals, fungi, microorganisms, and also the ecosystem that we live in. It encompasses not only the sheer number of species, but also the genetic diversity and the variety of ecosystem they inhabit. From large rainforests teeming with life, to vast ocean brimming with marine creatures, biodiversity is the foundation of our planet. It provides us with essential ecosystem services such as clean air, clean water, fertile soil, and also climate regulation. Now that we have the basic understanding of biodiversity and chemical, so let's explore how these two concepts intersect and have connection with each other. The intersection of biodiversity and chemical reviews how substance in the environment affect the diversity and the abundance of living organisms. Let's consider a real-world example, the 2019 King King River Toxic Pollution Incident in Malaysia. This happens on March 2019 in Johor, Malaysia. This river was contaminated with toxic chemicals, including illegal chemical waste dumped into the river. The toxic pollution also lead to severe environmental degradation such as mass fish death and harming other aquatic life. The spillage also influences nearby communities such as leading to health issues and economic loss. The effects of the pollution were far reaching. Beyond the intermediate loss of aquatic life, the pollution also disrupted the delicate balance of ecosystems. Algae bloom and that zone form as a result of the pollution, further reducing the oxygen level in the water and threatening the survival of the remaining aquatic species. Additionally, the chemicals released into the environment posed serious risk to human health. Residents living near the river experienced respiratory problems, skin irritants, and other serious health issues due to the exposure to the pollutants. In summary, Understanding the relationship between chemicals and biodiversity is important. While natural chemicals play essential role in maintaining diverse life forms, synthetic chemicals from human activity will harm the ecosystem. It leads to the loss of species and degradation of habitats through the pollution of industrial waste and pesticides. So, to preserve biodiversity, we must minimize pollution and adopt sustainable practices to ensure that the harmony between the chemicals and biodiversity is maintained and ensuring us a healthier and cleaner planet for our future generations. And, and that's, that's all from, from Earth. Earth. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.